we live in a society. A society that forced us to make torturous episodes of a pathetic little show called Bad Friday. What's even worse is now it's time to see Jared Leto's worst movies nice. get deep. Fat Friday. Deep of Fat Friday. Boo. <laughs> Boo, I say. <laughs> I'm not down with this uh, this Jared Leto episode. What? Scotty. Why not? I uh, I have this. You thing. gotta give Jared Leto a fucking this. fair fucking shake, my friend. Well, let me ask you this first of all: If you're such an expert, Scotty, is it Leto or is it Leto? That's what I want to know first. Uh, my actual resident expert is my wife, who's from the same area as Jared Leto, but he's from Bossier City, Louisiana. She's from. Uh, so is it Leto Canada. then? I think it's Leto, it's right? Leto. Taylor, right? Leto. Jared Leto. It's Jared right? Leto. Leto. Okay, well, in that case, I'll use Leto. So oh, man, you got you to do him dirty no, like I'm that. No, I'm going to disrespect him. I'm well, gonna, maybe disrespect. these movies will change your mind. I don't think so. You you literally said they're the worst. But you maybe can't, you it's can't so bad it's artificial good. Su- no, it's not going to be so bad it's good. I don't know. Maybe you'll feel that way. It's not going to be so you bad. Control. Maybe you disagree with my premise. You go, you know what? These are actually Jared Leto's best movies. No, ever. I don't fucking think so. Okay. Well, well, maybe it'll be so good it's bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay. It's one of these. All right. So here's uh, Basil. Basil. Basil, what TJ. The is Basil? It's, it's Basil. What is it? Uh, Basil is a, oh, let's see, what, what, what does the script say? A wealthy young man pursues a beautiful woman, ignores the restraints of aristocracy, and his overbearing, disapproving father. Oh, my God. Do you never seen Sounds Basil, TJ? Like a You've classic. seen Basil? Yes, actually, unfortunately. You have I seen have. Basil, really? <laughs> yes. I thought I thought this was gonna be on a left field for you guys, I'll be honest with well, you. So, but Paul is actually up on this. I have a uh a bit of a man crush on uh Christian Slater. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Okay. And so I kind of watch everything he's in. <laughs> <laughs> so you've unfortunately been subjected so to I've Basil. Seen Basil. <laughs> okay. Well, let's take a look at the trailer. I can go then. Basil! Look, Basil. Oh, oh man. Basil. It already sucks. It <laughs> Basil, you're going to live in, in the lap of luxury. It already sucks. Just like the first line, look, Basil. It's like, bleh. <laughs> this is okay. what made me want to do this episode, dude. Maybe. I watched this trailer, and I was, yeah, I'm like, this is horrible. Okay, I'm fucking, I'm blowing my top yeah, way come too on, soon. Dude. Give, it, give it like 30 back. seconds. Tell me who that is. That is my grandfather, and he served in the House of Lords. Are you worthy of your ancestors, Basil? (laughs) 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 Oh, Oh, Christian Slater, can you help me up from these rocks? Oh, Oh, yes, I can, Basil. And I do have a nice fucking cock, too. Yeah, by the way, in these peasant pants. That are oh, you were there of your ancestors, Basil. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Basil. Why did I ever have you? Your I... son, you're, you're an imbecile, Basil. I despise you, Basil. You are desperate for my approval now, Basil. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's the underlying character motivation. But will you learn to defy that and to become self Let's see, Christian John. Slater has an impact, and I am dude. Basil, to you. It's a very brave thing you did. It was only human, sir. No more than you would have done for me, I'm sure. I lead a very private life, really, and have no friends. That's a pity, sir. Every man needs a mate. Basil. Yeah, he does. Isn't that the man who That's right. Quite <laughs> frankly, oh. I find odd that a man would do a good deed for nothing. I came to see John Mannion. He is not here now. What kind of a man is that, I wonder? A gentleman, sir. I would like to see her again, John. Surely you don't mean. I, I I liked that chick a lot too, Claire Fahimah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I was a big fan of hers too. I thought she was pretty hot, so I watched I watched the movie. I watched you Basil because she was in it, and because Christian so, Slater were in it. So you you want to bang the cast? You Can basically watch this movie because Basil? there's hot people in the movie. Yes, as yeah, a dude that's seen Basil. Yeah, tell me about Basil. Jared Leto. Is the worst thing about Basil? Basil. <laughs> I knew. It. I'm shocked. I fucking knew I'm it. shocked. I can't believe it. He's the central character, and he's the worst thing about it. I'm 
Basel. Feel that an experience? Ah. Oh, I forget your father did not let you have mates. She's the first image in my mind when I rise and the last when I go to sleep. Oh, no. But one thought in uh, my head, one thing. I was telling TJ mind. this earlier. There is but I know where the bastard sleeps. Yeah, yep. In Carfax, Abbey. Yeah, the worst. It's like oh American my God. doing a British accent since oh, no. Galleries and it's Dracula. It's Reeves-esque. It's Reeves-esque. You can't do the accent, so I talk like this. this it's kind of British, right? Is this, does this sound British to you? Yes? Yes? Oh, she seems totally not into it too. <laughs> oh yeah. Is it is it part of the pl- is she supposed to look like she's into it right now? Because she looks not she's into, into it. it, dude. She looks like she's riding like- on the carriage yeah. through a bloody blue inferno. Accept this marriage. You will be cut off. Is that the life you propose for my only child? Still, all the world loves a lover. Anything that is mine is yours. I remember this moment, my friend. I told you to flee and you would not. Expose me without first exposing yourself and your family. Mother knew about your seaside tryst. Oh! Oh! <laughs> hey, God, man! I'll hear no more of it! You know more about me than you do. Oh, no, Basil, no! It was and they bury Jared Leto, even though he's looks like the main character. The oh, he's an and. Jared Leto. Basil they gave him the uh, they gave him the asleep. finger up the butt instead of the hand job. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they tickled his prostate instead of stroking his dick. That's what the and Jared and such and such as is. You know what this I mean? This summer, Ambien, the motion picture. It's like it becomes all these other losers and Jared Leto as well, Basil. Yeah. As all you see is. Jared Leto, like he's Sky, I'm gonna call you Basil from now on. Basil. Basil. No, you have to call me Basil. Basil. Okay, there you go. Jared Leto is in a lot of bad movies that he lowers, and in a lot of good movies that somehow either he he tries to lower it but just doesn't work, like Blade Runner. Yeah. That's kind of a thing you'll see with him over and over again. But these are his worst movies, so I really just want to point out he couldn't even save a bad movie. And this and he's the central figure in this. I tried to stay away from anything. That I thought he wasn't a big part of. And everybody he's else that's in this movie, part of this. like even the old blustery man, they do an admiral. Like I, I'm not as adverse to this like Victorian setting as TJ is, but um, no, neither I'm am not, I. I mean, you know, I'm not saying I would dismiss the setting. Fucking, I mean, there's movies set in this time period that are okay, but there's like a certain Other movies type you haven't of them. seen, like Barry Lyndon. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like that, I guess. Yeah, exactly. You have an aversion Ooh. to the time Quiet. period, TJ. Just I do it. not. I fucking. Uh, what about Dracula? I was just referencing Dracula. Oh my the, god! Basically the same uh, time period. Yeah, dude. The exception that proves the rule. Uh huh. I mean, there's other shit. I found this. Like, we found. Is you? I don't know. What about uh, Sherlock Holmes? I like that fucking movie. Okay. Yeah. That That's movie's two. like steampunk. Yeah. Well, you know, it's setting around the same it's time like period. Victorian. Nonetheless. That's like steampunk shit. There was Victorian influence in the kind of sort of. I mean, sure, and it really wasn't steampunk. Sure. It was more just like steam. Let's, just steam. let's move on to this. So, I guess we have a scene from this movie. Oh, you do? Uh, oh God, from Basil. Why are you going to torture right. us with that? Okay. Oh God. So this, <laughs> am I playing from here? Yes. All right. You disappointed me, Basil. Disappointed me, Basil. I'm talk. I'm in talk. We're prepared to see some terrible overacting by Jared Leto. Basil? Put your mind. Piece of shit, Basil. Is Basil about to blow him? Yeah. This is where your instincts have naturally led you. Suck his cock, Basil. You have but followed your piper. Uncle Fred. Now follow mine. Do not follow my piper, sir. (laughs) I merely followed your example. Dutiful son that I am. You did not know I saw you, did you? You and your lover by the sea at Windermere. Oh, God, you have sullied that place for me, and I am glad I have given it away. And Mother knew about your seaside tryst. Stop! Stop it! (laughs) It's like an overacting competition. Stop! Oh my god, dude. Fucking Jared Leto is such a wooden stick in this fucking scene. 
I saw I you know. there at Windermere with mother. I knew all along about your <laughs> seaside tryst. And so did mother. She knew. No! 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 <laughs> if that's G. Willis, how dare is this now? <laughs> I can't take it. Let's, no more. Let's, let's move on. Death. Death to this. Basil. Six. Six. No. Uh, let, let's look at this tomato meter, though. Uh, did I not pull it? Okay, I guess no, I didn't pull you it. Didn't. Uh, just so you guys know, it's zero. Dude, I've seen Urban Legend. I'm an apologist. I'm an apologist. This movie uh, well, you is so bad, it's good. I'm calling it right now. So bad, it's good. Uh, so synopsis: a, a university is beset by a rash of gruesome murders that resemble an old. Uh, resemble old. Hey, hey, hold legends. on, uh, let me just give you the real synopsis. Um, Scream was a hit a few years before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the end. I I totally agree. This movie a completely ape Scream. Like at some points, I'm like, am I watching Scream, dude? It's uh, it, there was a bunch of. It was real brief period, but after Scream was a hit, there was a bunch of like. Let's be scream. It was like, I know what you did last summer and this and like a few others. It didn't last long. Horror moved on to different greener pastures, in my opinion. But there was a little brief. Let's emulate scream period. And this is from that. Basically, I I don't remember for certain. But to spoil this movie, I'm 90 percent sure that Leto is eventually revealed to be the bad guy. Is he? I don't. Yeah. I don't remember it. I don't remember he's either. Like, he's like an innocent. Like we'll watch it. I guess we have the trailer or whatever the fuck. So yeah, yeah. So here we go. Let's just we'll see how he's presented. Urban. Uh, There's Robert England. Robert England. Why? Passed on as a true story. Something you might have heard about seeing pop rocks and soda. Supposedly. Yeah, he's like the professor or whatever. Why Let's see what happens. Mr. Brooks, please. <laughs> He's gonna explode! Somebody call 911! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it didn't actually explode, bro! Woohoo! That's fucking stupid! Oh Psych. man, can you believe those fucking suckers thought that shit was gonna happen, bro? Psyched you out, bro, idiots, you bunch of fucking bro. idiots. Yeah. Pieces of shit. All right. <sighs> they are the legends we've all heard. Uh huh. Drive around at night with their headlights off, and when someone goes to flash from their high beams to warn them, they kill them. The oh my God! We've all told. A guy and a girl, and they're parked out in the woods. And the guy steps out, and the girl starts to hear these scratches. Yeah, le- I it's remember now boyfriend. just seeing him. Leto is the bad guy in this movie. Awesome. Hung from a tree. The tales we've He's all. He's the bad guy of this episode too, because they bury him in this trailer because they don't want to. They want you to suspect all these other people. My mom still checks the back seat before getting into a car. But just because it never happened, uh huh, doesn't mean it never will. Ah. ah! The killer's gonna make all the urban legends come true. Dude, this is garbage. This is such a dumb premise. But you know so, what? I still defend it as a so bad it's good movie. It is like it's like a it's like a simultaneous ripoff of two films, actually. It's mm-hmm. Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer wrapped into one movie. Yeah. With a with that a dash true. of final destination thrown in. Yeah. Well, all of those movies kind of share a time period and a certain sort of horror a, it was really a stat like all these movies pretty much tonally take their cues from Scream. Of course, you know, because it's like Scream came out and it just like the horror genre prior to that had been was really like flagging uh, box office wise. People didn't really know what to do with the slasher genre anymore. Scream did this meta treatment and gave it this fucking different vibe. And then a bunch of films emulated that. And, uh, you know, it didn't really last long. It was probably like maybe three or four years. And then horror kind of went on to do like more like, I don't know, uh, it became more like spookily ghost bullshit for a while. I guess it's still in that because we're still watching Conjuring movies and all that. Anyway. Well, I'm not watching that shit. Uh, here's a scene from Urban Legends. Yeah, here's, here's actually one of the scenes. Let's we'll see there. him acting. Hey. Do you have feelings? Hey. 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 God, these scenes are so quiet. Hey, I'm, I'm, a, get boost this. I'm, I'm clean cut and not suspect at all. 
You could trust me. I'm very empathetic in this movie, and I'm definitely not the killer at the end. Just so you know. I contacted Michelle's high school, your high school. Now, why didn't you tell me you knew her? She could exploit her death more than you already have. Hey, look, I'm just doing my job here, okay? What am I supposed to do? Turn my back on a murder? Or, or a su- All right, anyway. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Turn my <sighs> back on... Just terrible. Ugh. Scotty. What? Ugh. It's terrible, dude. Jared Leto bad, can't, Scotty. He can't act. I don't bad, know. I feel Scotty. bad for Scotty bad. How he's managing to get these roles? Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no. Why so? Oh. Sad, TJ. <laughs> Sad because uh, cause this movie, Urban Why, Legends, I guess it has a 5.6. Look. Are you really sad, or is that just an urban legend, Mama? <laughs> did you just do bat? Did you just bat mama? What? Did you just bat me? Did you bat me? I heard you bat me. Did I heard you bat me? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. <laughs> That's a good question. Joker. It's like some green olive, Joker. black olive shit. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? Yeah, what do you think about this? Right what here. do you think about this? I I think it sucks. What do you think? Not that great of a movie. I think it sucks. What do you think? <laughs> you just copying me? Is that what's going on? You just copying me and that's what's going on? All right. I just won't speak then. All right. I just won't speak then. <laughs> <laughs> I will speak though, you cuck. <laughs> <laughs> here's anyway. the here's the uh pr synopsis the story is an epic that is daring and ambitious as its subject a relentless conqueror who by age 32 had amassed the greatest empire <laughs> the world ever look at him look i'm sorry i'm sorry look at him no no it's fine uh, look at him my, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a caption here actually written. Uh, this should be a, uh, this should be official under this picture. If it's not, it's not. Tr- uh, it's inaccurate. Uh, pictured here is Colin Farrell and Jared Leto pretending to know how to act. Okay, <laughs> so let me tell you something. <laughs> it's so, dude. Can we watch these scenes? Oh man, like they're so bad. Like, and it's like their shit just goes to a lower depth. It's like okay, can. Because like there's here's the thing: Colin Farrell and Jerry Little can be fine in movies if they're stronger actors to carry them. But with the, with them just both not having that ability, Colin Farrell it doesn't work. Colin Farrell, if he's playing a role that's right for him, can actually be decent leading man material. Um, uh, maybe. I mean, I've seen him do some. He did some great work. What about like in Bruges and shit? That was pretty funny. Um, well, I don't I mean, know. That was whatever. Okay. That was okay. Whatever. I think it worked, but this doesn't work. This pairing does not you know, work it's kinda, at all. It's hard for me to even fucking with Jared Leto. It's hard for me to even pay attention to fucking how bad Jared Leto is in this movie because Colin Farrell's awfulness is just so fucking powerful. And that fucking the fact that he the, the dye job and shit like they couldn't even get a fucking actually blonde actor or find someone whose blonde hair looked fucking accurate. Like, I don't know. Oh, uh, you're going to say that. All right. You know what? Just skip the trailer for this movie and just go right to the fucking shitty scene. All right. Is, that, is, it, is it this? No, it's terrible meat shitty. Right there. Okay. Did you pull it, TJ? I don't think I did. Didn't fucking pull it, man. Didn't fucking pull it. Trying to sabotage this episode. Hold on. We ain't missing shit in the beginning anyways. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, uh, Basil. I don't want Basil. What are you doing, TJ? Just trying to find the fucking... Oh, you know us, TJ. Yeah. Alexander loves seeing. Wait, are we gonna be able to watch this? Are they gonna get naked? I see in her everything no. I fear. I see in her everything I fear. Yet I have no idea what it is. This fear. This fear. She was always so sure I was born of Zeus. Why if I still? If you were born of Zeus, you'd be louder. I think there's things beyond. How are imagining? They're literally wh- they, why is it, why is he whispering every fucking movie? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Mama? Uh, what are you talking about? I just feel like there's things we can't understand, TJ. But I was told. Uh, Alexander, oh, uh, when we skipped like the middle. Alexander, 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 Alexander. Thirty seconds to Mars, TJ. Do you like my mascara? 
Remember the fates of these heroes. They suffered greatly. Now we all suffer. So wait, the audience at the movie in the movie theater at this point has literally listened to these two men whisper at each other for fucking two minutes and forty five seconds. At <laughs> Dude, this whispers McMillan should show up behind them and just like. <laughs> Well, you fucked up your settings in some way that I can't hear your whispering. It's not coming through your fucking mic at all. Nope. See? Scotty may be able to hear it, but well, we'll have to look at your fucking mic settings later, <laughs> TJ. Oh, well. Too bad. Whispers Hard McMillan to is dead, dude. You killed him with your settings. Damn. They all came to the end of the time, and in the end... When it's over, all that matters is what you've done. What you both did was take a cinematic dump on us all. I mean, let's be honest. This movie is fucking unwatchable. <laughs> it's not Completely. Leto's fault. Like, I mean, he contributes, surely, but you know what I mean? Yeah. He's just like a he's just like a comorbid disease where in a, in a body riddled with cancer that's about to die anyway. You know what I mean? It's just oh, no, I completely agree. Film. I would not put it all on Leto personally, but at the same time, he didn't really do anything to actually elevate that. I'm also uh, saddened by the fact that so far I've seen every one of these goddamn movies, which tells have you seen me Lonely it. Hearts? Yes, he I might have. have. Damn. Well, you know what? I, I, I think Paul's probably seen it because uh, I know you're a big fan of uh, Sopranos and James Gandolfini. Yeah. Okay. So, so here's the trailer for it. Oh, I guess you can tell me the synopsis first if you want, Scotty. Detector, uh, detector, detective Elmer Robinson, still, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> still grieving the loss of his suicidal wife. Yeah, this sounds real original already. Pursues two notorious murders in 1940s New York. Oh, Selma Hayek's in it? Yep. Uh, so okay. Selma Hayek, Ray Fernandez, Jared Leto, known as Lonely Hearts Killers, prey on spinsters and war widows, leaving a trail of corpses in their wake. Dope. <laughs> You want to know why we did it? Well, tell me for money. Inspired by true events. Total bullshit. It's bullshit. Bust his wife. Stuck his service thirty-eight in her ear. Well, when they say that in the movie, it's just basically bullshit. What'd you do it? He parked himself behind the desk. <sighs> Brothers in homicide. I didn't understand oh. that. Oh, yeah. Patty Forsyth, 25. Wounds are consistent with self-infliction. Since when is he back on the job? With all due respect to your wife. Dude, poor Gandolfini was just so lost in this movie with people that actually have bigger names than him at this point. That This was made probably as actors, but were just totally outclassed by him in every fucking conceivable way. Oh, Travolta <laughs> especially, because they, they have a lot of scenes together in this movie, I oh, can yeah. tell. And, and Travolta like, was well past his prime. He was entering into, or at least uh, maybe I can't remember when this came out. He was either entering into or already on the back end of fucking battlefield earth Travolta. So this is, you know what I mean? Yeah. He squandered the, he's, he has squandered the uh, Tarantino love uh, at this point for yeah. sure. Pulp fiction was 10 years ago when this was made. Out of my way, I'll make you look like he pissed that fuck shit away quick. You know, who else oh, pissed yeah. that shit away quick was uh Mickey Rourke. Oh my god, it dude, that fucking guy just can't. He's like one of those dudes that was just couldn't be helped, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, he, super talented well, guy, but just had to turn his face into meat and then got like a second chance when he rebuilt his face and squandered that shit too. Yeah, it's like Oopsie. wow, like a genius. Well, this looks terrible. Ruby. Oh, no. Today's a special day. The suspect in the photograph goes by the name of Raymond Martin. You're even more beautiful than your picture. Apparently, he travels with a... Keep in mind, this movie, he's supposed to be some super suave guy. So, so are, you kind, are, you, are you guys noticing that, like, the tactic kind of seems to be to take Jared Leto and put him in different time periods and see if it sticks? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Let's put him in the future. Let's put him in the past. Let's put him in the 30s. Let's put him in the Victorian era. <laughs> is there somewhere we could put Jared Leto and make him use? Like, God use damn it! Is there any fucking period history it's where this motherfucker you know works? It is? It's because they people they love his look, but he just can't act. Right. 
they they love they love the visual motif he gives these movies, and it's like he loves that they they love that about him. But it's like they they've tried him in everything. Like Blade Runner tried that, it didn't work. This fucking piece of shit tried that, it didn't work. Make him Basil. I'm Basil. I have a bad British accent. It's like, and, they, and he always has some like little. I notice a big part of his performance, like he gives up the character some affectation or accent, and it's like that's my character. His attempt at like, like a transatlantic accent in this movie is pretty fucking cringe inducing, by the way. If you listen for it. Love them. We gotta go right now. Gotta get down here. Remember what you told me when I made detective? You said do the job and keep the blood out here. You know what's really sad about Gandalfini? After what? seeing him as Tony Soprano, it's just I see Tony. Sopr- He's like one of those dudes that I just see Tony everywhere I go now. It's so, so yeah. hard for me to differentiate him from that character. Well, luckily for him, he died before he had to deal with too much typecasting. Yeah. So, True. yeah, really. It's my job. It doesn't mean you're not human. Well, I guess you got what you wanted. Laura you're Dern. Poor shit. Laura Dern. You know where I saw him kind of escape that Tony Soprano thing was when he was in uh, that movie, The Mexican. That's the I was gonna I was gonna say it, but hardly anybody's fucking seen that movie or remembers it. Well, but it was yeah, with that a, movie. It's not like, actually not that memorable of a movie. It's he doesn't, but whatever. he doesn't really step outside of it except for the whole kind of like softening of his character. It's almost like in the anti Tony Soprano, right. where he starts well, off gay. as the same hard the ass. But yeah. then reveals his feminine side and shit. Right. He's got like this like cutesy gay side. And it's like cool. I mean, you know, so he did a few roles like that. He probably could have escaped it. Honestly, he he's got the talent. It just he never he never had the opportunity to fucking really do that because he died so young. And then and then we're looking at the complete opposite end of the spectrum here today. Somebody that's been given it. every goddamn fucking opportunity in the world to shine and just can't do it. Yeah, I feel kind of bad almost. Not really, though. I feel bad more for myself at this point. As you should. Once you like you are. Who's never ever gonna leave? Who do you Man, they're yep, really trying to, to make the let me just tell you as somebody I know. Seen, they're tr- they're they're up in the fucking this movie is so plodding and slow. Yes. Oh my god, dude. They're dude, trying Paul, I, you're, it's like you're in my head, dude. When I was doing, when I was watching this trailer, I'm like, I haven't seen this movie. I'm like, this movie is probably dull as fuck. Oh, it's dull as dirt, dude. It's like watching fucking paint dry. It is, dude. It really is watching the grass grow. It's like you're waiting for Gandalfini scenes, basically. If if anything, mm-hmm. you know, and even those are just like, well, he would have been better you know, in not this movie. You know, what I mean, <laughs> like, anything else? Yeah, he said. Well, I mean, look, this seems like a good, I mean, this is like 2006 coming off the Sopranos. So I'm sure this seemed like, okay, this is a new role. And, you know, honestly, I mean, on paper, it doesn't look that bad. It sounds like an interesting story when you just discuss it, but then it's like, but then like, you're like, okay, Jared Leto, you know, they fucking sold that. Oh, he's like this up and comer. Jared Leto, he's a fucking You can just tell this paint by numbers, wrote lazy bullshit. Is what it really boils there, down to. Uh, it's just striking how I've never seen the trailer for this movie. I just watched this movie on a lark or whatever because Gandolfini was in it. And like, sure. right. it's like, it's amazing how in this trailer they're trying so hard to make it look like there's some kind of fucking relentless pace to this film. And let me tell you, dude, <laughs> it's the antithesis. Action. Suspense. Dude, there's a line in a fucking qu- uh, Quiet Riot song where they're like, I really want to be overrated. Because really, it's like kind of a great thing to be, you know? Sure. It's like you're, you're shit, but for some reason, it just keeps working out, you being shit. And that's kind of like what I've learned here today is Jared Leto it shows me all the positive aspects of being overrated because he can literally be in like countless movies, fail in all of them, and just keep getting the opportunity. There's another shot, Jared. Here, how about this? How about it's this role? Looks, just like dude. keep giving him work. It just yeah, goes to look. show you, dude. You're that a good-looking look guy, has, Jared. That look carried this. him. His parents, yeah. ble- he was just blessed genetically with this look that, like Scotty said, people want to sprinkle around their films aesthetically. He looks good. But he can't well, you know, act his way out of a wet paper sack. So in 99% of the shit that he's in, he sucks. Indeed. We got a scene from this movie as well. Oh, God. Really? Oh, yeah. So you can Here see you the go. relentless pacing. I want a baby. Okay. I want a baby. 
Look, I'm tired. Okay. Baldo. I'm sorry. What do you want to talk about? Once again, just whispers every fucking yep. line. What do you want to talk about? And what are they doing? Like they, do they, they he's about? doing this like. They're trying to make him up like Fredo from The Godfather and shit with this old age shit. Like, I don't even understand. Why would you get old? Like, why would you get Jared Leto? I know. And put him in a bald <laughs> cap. Let's take away Jared Leto's only actual attribute that he brings to a movie, which is his appearance, and then make him a bald, like, fat, like, Italian character. Or I guess he's Fernandez. I guess he's more like Hispanic. I don't want to be alone the rest of my life. You like that ham fisted cut I there? Just don't leave. Did you I, see I that? actually moved it forward because I was trying to see if there was. Oh, any that was fucking... you. Okay, yeah. I thought that oh. was just in the movie. No, sorry, I'm trying to find some fucking something to latch on to. I'd like that. Don't don't you remember the trailer, TJ? Bum ba bum ba bum ba bum bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba don't I want that baby. Oh, well, wait a minute. Don't bullshit me. Oh, so was hey, wait, wait, listen. I'm gonna talk like this. <laughs> this is like the transatlantic accent or something. I'm, oh, no. <laughs> I'm whispering here, baby. I don't want a baby right now. You know that. I don't want a son. I'll see some place where he's a kid. Does it? What? Is there never it's just like your cousin like mumbles, Why? mumbles it's McMillan? two minutes of whispering again it's mumbly whispering who gives a shit <laughs> no one why I do not want to watch a two minute whisper conversation unless it's some real intense shit DJ. like there's monsters the monsters right over DJ. there guess what we're gonna do you know like then maybe but not two people why are they whispering in their own house they're talking sitting right what they're talking okay all right, conversation, DJ. I don't like it. I don't fucking. No <laughs> one now, talks that way. You know what? Now I'm gonna talk like this to everyone. No, don't do it. Okay, DJ. Scotty, all right, your episode's over. Fucking say your piece. My episode is not over, DJ. It's over. We're gonna keep talking like no, this from now on. No, it's it's done. I'm ending it. No, don't end it, DJ. <laughs> fucking say something. Say wrap this all up. Tell us Oops. the fucking point of this whole exercise. Uh, this is Jerry Leno's best movies ever. Actually, uh huh. I've changed my mind. Uh huh. Right? Uh huh. All yeah, right. Episode say. over. Bye. Thanks it's, for watching. It's Goodbye. Over. It's not over. It's over. It's, not over. it's over. I'm ending it. I'm pressing the button. It's not over. I press the button. It's, not over. it's done. Deep fat fried. Deep fat fried. Deep fat fried. Deep fat fried.